Hey folks, Scooter Vato here. Welcome to another stovetop workshop. Today we're working on a uh, M4 for lampshade. He uh, brought it over because it wasn't working, and uh, when it got here, it was all put together, but there was no motor in it. So I dropped in one of my motors and hooked the battery up to it, and it lit right up and it worked just fine. He showed me his motor, and like the, the screw that holds the pinion on is missing, so the pinion come off. Motor works, but you know, can't use it. Um, but what we're going to do for this evening here is uh, this wiring is kaput. You see that, eh? That's just totaled. All shiny and gross, broken, you know, kind of beat up. So we're going to put some mil spec on there for him. You know, I was noticing interesting cylinder, man. That's it's ribbed, man. Ribbed for your pleasure. Um, steel bushings, eh? and I checked, there's no lateral movement, so it's been shimmed and everything. It's got a serious spring in there. Like I mean, you can't even move that with your finger barely. It's crazy big spring. So yeah, we're gonna climb inside that and uh, we'll see what's inside there. So yeah, we got one that just you know, doesn't want to come out. So out oh, comes the handy dandy bearing removal tool and a couple of rotations. Hey, guess what? Out it comes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You betcha. There we go. Oh, very nice. We'll put him where he belongs so as not to confuse the issues. Be right back. So there we go. They're all completely stripped down. I'm going to replace the wires there. I'm going to take these to work, give them a quick alcohol bath. Get, uh, I'm going to be using a 100% uh, silicone grease. Food safe. Good for O-rings. Good for everything. It's one-stop wonder. MG chemicals, yeah. But uh, So I'm going to clean it all off in this way with uh, an alcohol bath. I don't have to worry about cross-contamination, grease headaches, and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's your CA box taken apart, Mr. Lampshade. There we go. All cleaned up. All ready to go back together. All wired. See, you got bad wire. Broken bit there. Kind of choddy. Like I showed you before, that's no good. And then this one here, this is your power wire. Like there was, like we saw earlier, like that one, that one. This one's actually got short marks on it. It's kind of browned out. And that's not a good thing. That's probably what killed this battery. Then this was the one inside. That was just fine. But yeah, now we got the mill spec wire on. Gonna put the connectors on. Gonna put it together, you betcha. Welcome back, folks. There you go, sir. One mech box. Re greased, re click cleaned up, re greased, wired with mid spec wire. Very nice, mid spec wire, very nice. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go have a smoke break and then I will put the AEG back together. Well, I'm gonna test the, test the, uh, I'm gonna put the grip on, put the ends on, you know, size it up, uh, test it for shoot, shoot, bang, bang, make sure it's good. Talk to you soon. Alright, so the moment of truth. It's got a battery just connected real quick. We'll just see here. Uh, it should be semi. Oh, where's the dope? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> where's the dope? <laughs> Phew! <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put it back together, and you're gonna show up with a motor one of these days, like tomorrow maybe, and or screw for your pinion gear, and we'll put the thing together. Shoot! So yeah, I found one of those little rings we were talking about, one of those little clips. So yeah, very nice. Hop up, he's quit. Gun is going together. See, but he's going to make shoot. Bang, bang, bang. Safety, shoot. I don't shoot. Safety, no shoot. Right back. Welcome back, folks. So yeah, we got it all put together. Very nice, very nice. When I was uh, feeding the wire through. There must be a sharp part right inside there because I pulled the sliver of the insulation off, just this little sliver. So uh, I put a piece of uh, shrink wrap over it. I mean, the insulation is missing there, so I put a grippy piece on, no worries. So yeah, moment of truth. Yeah, we'll call that one fixed. Woohoo! Gonna do some chrono, gonna do some chrono. Right back. Hey folks, so we just assembled a uh, lamp shades M4. We're gonna do some quick chrono testing. Shots using 20 weight doubles. 
Hey folks, so yeah, we're just going to do some quick uh, target testing here. We're using rifle sights, so or iron sights, so we're just hope for the best. I can't tell if I hit until after a shot, so I'm going to shoot like one or two and then take a look. I can't actually see where I'm hitting. Hope you guys can see where I'm hitting. Well, I got one of the bow, looks like. It looks like shooting just a little bit to the side. <laughs> Make a slight adjustment to the sight here. I turned it the wrong way the first time. There we go. Thanks for watching, folks. This has been the Stovetop Workshop for Lampshades M4. Play hard, play fast, play safe.